This is the construction of the flying machine rocket, and in this episode, we're putting on the fins. We're at the point, we're at the point in construction that we're ready to put on the fins. Um, so all my fins are ready to go. I've sanded them, um, and I've also sanded the edges, so all the paper um, gingerbread around the outside is nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to use um, super glue to put these on. You can also use wood glue. Uh, it just takes a little longer with wood glue. Um, all the fins on the rear of the rocket are mounted flush with the back of the tube, so that's pretty easy to put them on. Like I said before, I'm going to use thick super glue. Um, so, to put them on, just run a bead of glue. On the edge. This is a fin, although there's four fins and one tailpiece, so you can see that uh, the tail is wider and shorter. Um, so I always, when I put a fin on, I'll always put it on the back edge first and then walk it down along the line that I drew on the tube. And we just hold it in place until it catches. And then I want to sight down the tube to make sure it's perfectly uh, perpendicular to the tube, which it is. Um, if any glue is oozed out, this is the time to wipe it off. Like that. And when you like it, um, I use Super Glue Accelerator. Uh, this brand is called Instaset. There's other ones that are called Kicker. Just a quick spray, not a lot. Um, so then you have to wipe it off because it'll, if, if it's underneath the next fin, then it kicks off too fast. All right, so there's the first one. Um, I'll go ahead and do the tail. Okay. And then, as before, start at the back edge. Lock it down and then press it along the, the line. And I'm letting it set up for a second. And this kind of looks funny because this one's not coming out at 45 degrees. It's at a weird angle. So just remember that. You only want to look at one fin at a time. Okay. And now the smaller canard fins, they'll go on the front and they're going to be in line with the fins. Um, and the, the front edge of the canard fin is one inch from the edge of the tube. Right there. Same process as before. Now this time you're going to be also looking at the fin to make sure that they're, oops, just popped it off. You want to look at that fin to make sure that they at least appear to be coming off at the same angle. So when one's not this way, if the back fin's like this and the front fin is like that, you don't want that. <laughs> People are going to notice. Uh, this kit does not have an alignment jig, and the reason is is all the is all the rivets would just get in the way. Um, so this one you do have to eyeball. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the fins on, um, and that will be how to put on fins on a rocket. And this will be for any rocket that has a flat edge. 
This doesn't include through the wall fins, but for the ones that have a flat edge, which are called butt joints, um, that's how you do it. On the top and the sides of the flying machine rocket are some vacuform parts. Uh, this one's called the canopy, uh, and I call these the portholes. Um, and they're vacuform, and we're going to cut those out in this video. Um, now the trick on cutting these out, because they have um, this row of rivets around here, is to cut them out from the back side. Um, if you look carefully inside, you can see the edge, and it's, and it's better defined on the inside than it is on the outside. So that's why we're cutting on the inside. And we're not going to we're not going to cut all the way through. We're just going to score it with our knife. Um, so you'll do this fairly lightly and just follow the edge. Oops, I went off. right here just because it gives me a little bit more flexibility in the plastic. We don't need that part anyway. done. So then I'm, I just cut that just so I can flex it a little bit more. Now to uh, separate it, you bend it back and forth and it will snap on its own. This is a uh, high impact polystyrene and it's, it's a brittle plastic, which is why you can use this method of just scoring and, and bending back and forth like that and then it's out um, and then you'll want to sand the edge to make it smooth just like that and if I grab my rocket from over here, um, it's designed to conform right to the tube, just like that. See how see how nice that looks. Now the portholes are done exactly the same way. So just flip it over on the back side. If you want it to lay a little bit flatter, you can cut that off. That gives you a little bit more flexibility there. like a little saddle and just sand around the edges just like that and again it conforms nicely to the side of the tube so that's how you cut these out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them um, and that will be it for this video <laughs>